All right. Throughout history, there has been a relentless human desire for freedom and equality. And um, for an example, the civil or the United States fought in the Civil War to glare to end freedom and to declare equal rights for all. And, but however, there is now a form of slavery um, here going on today, which is um, human trafficking. It is uh, such a thr like it's thriving globally and really affecting many communities today. And um, according to the Health and Human Resources, uh, human trafficking is the second largest criminal industry in the world. Various estimates indicate that um, estimates that um, approximately 40,000 of those people um, who are women, mostly women and children, are um, with are dealt with have dealt with se um, sexual exploitation, or not exploitation, um, exploitation, and um, between 21 and 27 million of those people are uh, here in the United States. And um, according to David Ford, an executive of the United States Department of Justice, claims that California harbors three of FBI's 13 highest child sex trafficking areas in the nation. And since trafficking is such um, a problem in our community, people really need to be informed on this issue. So in this speech, I will inform you on the various aspects of human trafficking. First, I will inform you what the current law for human trafficking is. Second, I will explain to you what Proposition 35 believes that the current law has failed to do. And third, I will inform you on um, the improvements that Proposition 35 proposes. So, according to Reef Cara, a um, district attorney in Washington states that um, the United States Congress uh, passed the largest modern anti-slavery bill in the year of 2000. Now, the stated purpose of this bill is to, um, to stop trafficking, or stop to combat trafficking in persons. And according to the United States Department of State, it is the first comprehensive federal law to address human trafficking. And what this bill also does is that it, um, it prevents um, or it um, stops trafficking with the three Ps, which are one being protection. It involves identifying sex, um, um, sex victims and protect, protecting them and providing them with housing and medical care. Two, Prevention. It raises awareness on the inhumane, um, inhumane practices that involve with human trafficking. Three, prosecution that passes um, appropriate laws to help stop trafficking and um, brings about the criminal, the and it criminalizes them and jails their abusers. Also, um, according to the, according to. The um, criminal act, cr criminal agency of no criminal, according to the attorney general, um, California. Um, uh, California has um, the law goes for as if. You are penalized as sex offender as of an adult. It is a five-year term sentence in prison. And if you are an offender who um, has crimes that are um, influencing a great injury to the victim, then you will be added on with a six-year term sentence in prison. According to um, the California Analysis Center, as of March 2012, um, 18 such victims or 18 such offenders were in a state prison and most of their victims were primarily women and children. So now that I informed you on the current law, I will now begin to explain what, um, um, what the current law fails to do. And um, according to Susan Thomas, a, uh, the director of Global Lead Studies indicates that the existing law fails to protect victims and victims who are mostly um, illegal immigrants because these illegal illegal immigrants are more punished harsh are punished more harshly than the traffickers themselves 
And um, also, the bill, um, the law fails to provide um, um, different services and facilities to the victims, um, such as housing, health care, and, and legal assistance. And what it also fails to do is to, um, to put forth the combat trafficking in persons, which were the three Ps that I recently stated to you guys in the previous of my arm. Um, in the first part of my speech. Also, the, um, the act doesn't fully um, put about the certain sentences that they um, put for human traffickers, as um, they, meaning that they don't um, give the traffickers a sentence that, um, that they deserve or you know, that are being brought into the law that they should be getting. So, um, also, what the law de what the law fails to do, according to the um, Global National um, Prevention Center, is um, they don't uh, provide certain law law enforcements that provide um, certain services that the police officers do in order to um, get these traffickers out of the street. So. Now, the last thing that I want to touch on is what um, improvements that the Proposition 35 um, has for the current law. And um, according to Vote Yes on Proposition 35, what they want to do is not only um, enhance the um, penalty for, or enhance the um, current law, of, or the definition of human trafficking, but they also want to um, enhance and increase the, penal the punishment for human traffickers. Also, they want to impose law enforcement and also services and facilities that help the um, victims' needs, which are um, the housing, shelter, um, anything like that. Um, dealing with um, also dealing with the sentence, increasing the sentence. Um, which will be, um, which, which now is five years and would be brought upon, uh, would be increased to 20 years in prison. And if the sex trafficker is, um, is dealt with a minor and involves with force and fraud, then that trafficker would see from eight years of up to a punishable of life term prison, or life term in prison. And if they do not involve with um, force or such fraud, then they would get six years, and, or it now is six years and would be increased to 12 years. So they're looking upon um, just cracking down on the traffickers, really getting them um, out of their industry that is growing globally. They want to get them, get them in prison, and they also want to help the victims because they are innocent people, and um, no one deserves, you know, to be brought upon their or not have their um, freedom of, you know, their freedom to be free. So, also, they want to. Um, they also want to. Um, okay. Anyways. Um, so in this speech, <laughs> I informed you about the various aspects of human trafficking. I informed you on what the current law for human trafficking was. I explained to you what Proposition 35 wants to um, improve and also what they think the um, law fails to do. So when it comes to voting November 6th, I hope you take this information and really make an informative decision because you have to think about the victims who are involved with this and determine if you really want um, things to be done about human traffickers. Thank you.